Well, welcome. Uh, my name is Debbie Gilbert and I am the founder of the Best Business Women Awards and today I am joined by Wendy Griffith and she has an Arbonne business which she's going to tell you all about shortly and she was one of our winners back in 2016. She won Best Networker and she was also a finalist in the uh, customer service category and the consumer retail category. So welcome Wendy. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Great to see you. Um, great to catch up because Wendy's now up in Norfolk, so uh, enjoying life by the seaside. So it's great to see you. Um, so tell us more about your business and what made you start it. Well, initially I started my business because working at the time as a marketing manager in the city of London in the fast growing IT industry, I was starting to become very disillusioned by the very long hours uh, commuting in people's armpits every day, that wasn't pleasant. And I was starting to tire of the 25 allocated days of holiday a year, because as you can hear, I'm, I'm not originally from the UK, my family's in South Africa. So for me, I wanted to have more holiday and freedom and flexibility to travel more so I could visit my family in South Africa, but then also have a chance to travel the world because I absolutely love to travel. So for me, it was all about freedom and flexibility. So. I started to look around, I call it my, my midlife crisis, but I had it at 29. And I was sat at my desk one day and I was looking at everyone in the office around me thinking, is this gonna be like my life in the next 10 to 15 years? And so I started to look at opportunities that of ways and businesses that I could start because South Africans are very entrepreneurial by nature. So I'd always thought I liked the idea of running my own business. But when I started to look at the options available to me, I either had to give up my job and therefore my income until I started to generate a profit, which wasn't an option. I'd recently got married, we'd recently bought our first home, so there was no chance of me being able to do that. The next thing was I didn't feel like I had the confidence really to start my own business. I wanted guidance and mentorship. I couldn't afford to pay for that, so I was sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place. And when I started to then look at franchise models or becoming a franchisee, and so then having that framework and infrastructure to operate within, the cost of those was astronomical. I just, there was no ways that we had had the savings at that stage. What savings? <laughs> so when I was told about Arbonne by a colleague in the industry, she was actually my mentor at the time. She also worked in well, IT was very male dominated. So any other female you just sort of cling to. Um, and she was my mentor. We were having lunch one day and she told me how she'd started an Arbonne business. And I was initially confused because she had a very successful career. So I thought, why are you selling lipstick? That was my immediate impression of what I thought she was doing. But when I actually understood what Arbonne was as a, as a company and what it stood for and what the model entailed, I recognized that hang on, this is something I could plug into. I could do it for a low startup, low risk. I could still keep working. I could build it up in the nooks and crannies on my commute. Instead of focusing on the armpit, I could focus on reading some materials to help me. I could also have that mentorship. Mm. So for me, it just ticked so many boxes at the time. So I jumped in and never looked back. And so you obviously eventually went on to quit your job and then networking, which was the award that you won in 2016, played a massive role in the growth of your business. So just share a bit about what you did and, and how that really worked for you. Absolutely. So when I walked away from corporate at the end of 2013, so I built my Arbonne business for a couple of years while I was working full time. So it was a juggle, but it was absolutely doable. I walked away and then I found because I'd always done Arbonne part time, there was all this extra time in my day and I actually didn't have enough to fill it. I thought, you know, quitting corporate, I have all this time and it'd be lovely, but actually I was really bored. <laughs> so I actually started doing some marketing consultancy really by default and recognized that even though I was trained in marketing, the world had moved on so much. Digital was exploding. So I actually went and put myself through courses and re-educated myself and then found this real passion for social media, online marketing, digital, and actually through that started to run my Arbonne my, my Arb business alongside a marketing consultancy. And so both of those built up at the same time and went on to be very successful equally. But 
what Mark um, Networking did was it really just gave me a place to come and be with other entrepreneurs. So those people that felt in the same boat as me, because as many of you who started your own business will know, it can be often a bit of a lonely place when you first start. And fortunately, I had that community with Arbonne, but I still wanted to make a local network and a local community, which at the time was in Hertfordshire before I relocated to Norfolk. So it really was the friendly faces coming together, idea sharing, and really being able to grow my skills in business. And so you took over a group, didn't you? The Wheat Hampstead Business Group, I think? I did. Well, I took over as chair. Mm -hmm. So I started attending those meetings in my local village of Wheat Hampstead and really loved the people. And then somehow I was next minute, I was the networking <laughs> chair. But I absolutely love to bring people together. So for me, it was it was an absolute pleasure to do. And I just really enjoyed running the groups and just seeing people because I, I firmly believe in life. It's not what you know, it's who you know. I believe it's, I've always believed in collaboration. I've always been that way. Even at school, you know, my friends say, you haven't changed one bit. I always want to connect people, help them. I'll say, oh, you should speak to so-and-so and you should speak. That's just my personality. So I found networking such a great opportunity to be able to help others and I firmly believe that in business mm -hmm. you will be as successful as you empower and help other people to be very true very very and true. I know that you're very much about that yourself I Debbie, so. yes I'm a bit I love networking so you also um managed the triple which very few people do so you were also a finalist in the customer service category which is a very difficult category to be shortlisted well, a lot of entries that you yeah a hell of a lot of entries here i called listed so just let's distill just in a few sentences really what good customer service means to you and and how you really look after your Arbon customers so i just think especially in this day and age when we are, and I operate a very virtual online business, but I feel like it's so important to connect with your customers. So nowadays, a lot of people have Facebook groups and communities, but I really had started doing that six years ago, which was at the time quite pioneering. So I'd created a Facebook group and I was offering value to my customers. I always love to connect with them and have that personal touch. I always think, you know, what sets me apart from them walking into a high street store and buying their personal care goods or their nutrition products. So I wanted to bridge the gap between them just shopping purely online and having no customer facing aspect versus the high streets. So I'm that hybrid of the two. So I can bring that personal touch and those recommendations. And that obviously comes through my personal experience of using the products, being that ambassador for the brand. But I love, you know, for me, from a from a marketing point of view, you know, I love nothing more than getting little packages in the post and little gifts and cards. So I really love on and spoil my clients. So whether it's Valentine's Day or Christmas or and on their birthdays, I spoil them. I send them a little gift. And I think it's those personal touches mm -hmm. and reaching out to people. I make sure that I'm connecting with my customers regularly, checking on their requirements. And I think that's so important. Brilliant. Yes, I think that was definitely picked up on by the judges when they looked at your entry so well done um so let's thinking about the awards i mean what made you enter the awards why 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 did you do it because you made me no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> so no so what it was is i suppose running an arbon business i had this idea that oh I can't enter awards like that because it's not my own business but it is my own business I simply operate my own business and and promote the products of Arbonne so I thought no I should enter this I absolutely should enter for Arbonne because not many people had done so up until that point and so for me uh, I just felt like it would bring real credibility to my industry and to the fact that there are so many men and women out there who are plugging into that business in a box model that you can with something like Arbonne and making a real success of it and building a really healthy, successful business as a result. So I really wanted to showcase that and to be the evidence for my colleagues and for the industry and for, for sort of that the entrepreneurs community that you absolutely could enter these categories yeah i remember talking, marketing business yeah i remember talking to you at one of the awards master classes and you sort of came up to me and said oh I'm, I'm not sure about entering and i was like why wouldn't you enter you know if you've got those customer testimonials and you've got a strong business and you really know um 
you know you know your industry and you have a passion for it then you should definitely be entering so i'm pleased that you took me well thank you so much for encouraging me because i wouldn't have done so without that and what impact has the award had on your business Oh, a tremendous impact. I mean, personally, I know that there's a lot of awards out there, but for me, what I love so much about the Best Businesswoman Awards was that it was a national award. And so, and obviously with you, Debbie, and your, you know, experience and, and validation out there, for me, I thought, well, if I'm going to enter any awards, I'm going to enter these because it's huge credibility. And actually, when I entered the awards, um, I'd recently fallen pregnant. So the award ceremony was right around the time that I was, I remember remember. when you called my name, you sent me into early labor. (laughs) I was so surprised, but actually the month after I won that award, just the PR alone, I went on when I had a newborn baby to have my biggest month at that stage of my business ever in terms of turnover. And I firmly believe it was just that energy and that momentum and that positivity that winning the award had created, Mm. even just for my own confidence and belief in myself. And so really it's just gone from strength to strength from there. And and, and it's an evergreen award. So it sits on my website. I'm so proud of it. Well, you behind you as well, isn't it? I know, it's my (laughs) proudest award. And I have have been fortunate to receive some um, rewards I have and awards in my career but this for me was just as I say and just to have my little Jesse in my tummy as well at the time was very special to me it was amazing we were a little bit worried we did have have (laughs) have I did have to model up to the stage (laughs) (laughs) um and finally Wendy it's been lovely chatting to you and hearing all about your business but tell us um anyone watching this or listening to this um what advice would you give to people thinking about entering not just our awards but any awards well, I know for me, and, and we've touched on this, that I thought, who am I to enter the awards? Like, I, you know, and I think it's so important that as a business owner, you really take the opportunity to evaluate your business. So what these awards did at the time was it, it, made, it forced me to look at all aspects of my business and you need to have a really balanced business in order to be successful. So it got me to look at my accounting, it got me to look at my customer service, it got me to look at all sorts of different aspects that are so important to have that balanced holistic business. So for me, it was more than anything, it was the best business plan I've ever written. And you know, just to do that evaluation, because we never do it otherwise, because we don't have that pressure and deadline to get it done. Mm-hmm. So that's what it really gave me in terms of logistical, practical elements. Um, and it just also gives you an opportunity because again, we know we should ask for testimonials. We know we should keep things up to date, but we don't because we get busy on the day to day. So doing something like this is such a good exercise for putting a line in the sand and getting everything up to date. And then from your own confidence point of view, being able to look and go, huh, look what I've built or look what I've created. Because sometimes we think we haven't done a lot and we underestimate Perhaps when we start in business, you know, we overestimate what we can achieve in a year. But when we, you know, three years on into my leaving corporate to when I entered the awards, looking back, I was like, oh my gosh, I've achieved so much. And it's just, it's what, it gives you that confidence to keep driving forward in your business. Yeah, I think it's really self-satisfying, isn't it? It's something where you sit back and think, actually, you know what, I've come from that place and I'm here now. And this is incredible and actually what I have achieved is worth shouting about it's worth shouting absolutely and also when I because when I left corporate people were like what you're walking away from a, a great job you know all the perks in a in a, in a, in a, in a company that was fast growing and it was great and to go and do Arbon, like that was sort of the perception that people had so when I got my you know short listings and I got my award it was like ha, great decision <laughs> Oh, Wendy, it's been amazing talking to you Thank you you so much. Thank Uh, you for the opportunity. That's okay. We will share the details of Wendy's website. This um, actual interview will be transcribed into a blog. So we'll be sharing Wendy's story in her blog. Um, But you can connect up with Wendy on her website, which is? wendygriffith.co.uk. And you can find me over on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. Those are my favorite channels. And I do love an Insta story as Debbie knows. So <laughs> you can have a talk of me there. She does. So thank you for joining us today. Been great chatting to you and hearing all about your success. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.